Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? Today, we're delving into Palantir. Our initial report was released on Friday, May 3rd, 2024, and now we're providing a more in-depth analysis for you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to keep up with our latest insights. Stay informed about any updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions with our new AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access free price predictions and in-depth analyses for 25,000 companies worldwide. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and is not financial advice. Since May 3, 2024, our system has identified Palantir as a buy candidate with a score of 1.95. Now, let's analyze how the stock has performed during this period. We will continue to closely monitor this evaluation to observe its progress in the upcoming days. The stock is currently situated in the upper part of a wide and descending trend in the short term. This presents a potential selling opportunity for short-term traders as a move back towards the lower end of the trend is anticipated. A breakout above the top trend line at $25.02 could signal a slower rate of descent and possibly mark a shift in the trend direction. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a projected 8.19% change expected over the next quarter, with potential returns ranging between NIDA 42.97% and NIDA's 1.51%. Looking ahead to the 12-month trend, a 63.69% change is forecasted over the next year with expected returns falling between 28.72% and 97.97%. This equates to a price range of $30.02 to $0.46.18 by the end of the year. The latest update for Palantir reveals that the stock has been upgraded to a buy candidate. On the last trading day, Palantir's stock price increased by 3.44%, reaching $23.33 from $22.55. This marks a three-day streak of gains. It will be interesting to see if this trend continues or pauses in the coming days. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.71%, ranging from a low of $22.91 to a high of $23.53. Over the past two weeks, the price has risen by 13.95% after gaining in eight of the last 10 days. The increased trading volume, along with the price rise, is a positive technical indicator with 26 million more shares traded compared to the day before, totaling 54 million shares valued at approximately 127 billion. Looking back at the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $27.50 and the lowest was $7.32. Currently, the price is 15.18% or $4.08 below the 52-week high and 48.17% or $20.68 below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when it reached $45. Analyst ratings on Thursday, March 28, 2024, RBC Capital rated PR as underperform with a hold action. On Thursday, March 28, 2024, Wedbush rated PLTR as buy with a hold action. On Thursday, March 28, 2024, Monus rated PLTR as sell with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 7, 2024, Wedbush rated PLTR as buy with a hold action. On Thursday, March 7, 2024, RBC Capital rated PLTR as underperform with a hold action. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. Palantir's stock analysis reveals mixed signals. Both short and long-term moving averages suggest a positive outlook for the stock, but the relation between the two signals indicates a general sell signal due to the long-term average being higher. Support levels at 22.43 and 22.77 may prevent further declines. The three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD, signals a buy opportunity with rising volume supporting the price increase. However, recent negative signals could impact short-term progress. A sell signal was triggered on March 7, 2024, resulting in a minus 11.85% decline, potentially leading to further drops until a new bottom pivot is established.
Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal, 41 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 11 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 10 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 2 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 30 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 61 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Today, let's talk about Palantir's support, risk, and stop-loss levels. Palantir currently finds support at $23.01, making it a potential buying opportunity as we may see an upward reaction when this level is tested. With average daily movements and good trading volume, the risk associated with this stock is considered to be medium. In the past day, Palantir moved 6.20 cents between its high and low, equivalent to 2.71%. Over the last week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 3.53%. Before discussing possible trading levels for Palantir, let's review some key fundamental data. First up, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, which compares a company's share price to its earnings per share. While Palantir's P-E ratio is high, this is common among tech companies with significant growth potential. Moving on, Palantir's Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for May 6, 2024. Analysts predict earnings of 0.80, a figure that could impact stock prices significantly. Let's delve into potential day trading levels for Palantir. In an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir stands at 2360. If you're not currently holding shares, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before initiating a position. For existing shareholders, this could be a point of interest for swing trading opportunities. On the downside, Palantir sees its initial support level at 2301. Should this support level hold, it might serve as a favorable entry point with hopes of a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Now let's dive into some recent insider trades. On May 1, 2024, Moore Alexander D. sold 18,900 shares of Class A common stock. On May 1, 2024, Moore Alexander D. also sold 1,100 shares of Class A common stock. On April 1, 2024, Schiff Alexandra W. sold 5,000 shares of Class A common stock. On April 1, 2024, Moore Alexander D. sold 20,000 shares of Class A common stock. On March 31, 2024, Taylor Ryan D. bought 173,838 shares of Class A common stock. Examining the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is negative with a ratio of 42.608. In total, insiders purchased 7,700,077 ,007 shares and sold 18,973,239 ,007 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $21.98, which represents a decrease of 5.76%. This stock experiences moderate daily fluctuations, translating to a moderate level of risk. Additionally, there is a sell signal stemming from a pivot top identified 40 days ago. Is Palantir stock a good buy? Despite being in a falling trend, several short-term signals are positive. This indicates a potential buying opportunity with a fair chance for the stock to perform well in the short term. Our analysis has upgraded this stock from a sell to a buy candidate. Upon analyzing recent volatility and movements, our system suggests that the current price is overvalued. Looking ahead to trading on Monday, May 6, we anticipate Palantir to open down to $7 and begin trading at $23.26. Before engaging in trading, it's crucial to understand the high risk involved in potentially losing money. It's advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any decisions to buy or sell securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be solely relied upon for investment choices. By using the provided information, 
you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your investment actions. Presenting our current view on this stock. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target for this stock. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more insights. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from the team at Stock Invest.